Number 10. Did you overpack? I, oh, Phil. You didn't bring a hair dryer or anything, did you? I brought a hair dryer and a curling iron. You did iron. not bring a hair dryer. <laughs> you brought a hair dryer on the Amazing Race? And a curling iron. Did your dad know that you brought a hair dryer? He's carrying it for me. Your dad is carrying it. I have a blow dryer. I have my curling iron. Oh, look at me, Daddy. I brought a hair dryer. I brought a curling iron. And I brought... What kind of role model do you think you are, bitch? We're bringing a hair dryer with you to the amazing race. What kind of message do you think you are sending? And there's little girls out there that are watching you on TV. Oh, let me just bring my curly iron and hair dryer with me when there's a zombie apocalypse. Nothing can go wrong. Number nine. have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some uh, people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Uh, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much, South Carolina. Number seven. I'm doing it. I, I probably can better than you because okay. I have a bigger okay. stomach. Who's up for going down? You'll go down in the pyramids. Here you go. You want me to? Yeah. You want me to do it? Okay, yeah, you do it. Who's really hungry? You are. Who's ready to get down and dirty? You are. I am. No, I'm not going to shake my head. Who's ready for a wild ride? You do it. Okay. Oh, no. It's a roadblock. That would be you. Great. <laughs> strong arms and strong legs. I don't know. But you're doing it right. Roadblock. I'll take You're gonna do the roadblock, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no way I could be okay. chip at okay. anything. I feel bad. I don't do anything. Number six. This city is wretched and disgusting. And they just keep breeding and breeding in this poverty. I can't take it. Everyone's right behind yeah. us. Huh? It's a big difference from ghetto third world. Let's go down the ghetto street. Number five. Okay, look, to your left, to your right. It's really hard. This is stressful. Fish what is this up here on the right? I'm running like hell, I don't care. Thank you. Come on, come on. We can still beat the blondes. This way. Oh, hurry, hurry, fast, fast, fast. 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 Come on, Christy. Come on. Preston and Jennifer, you're the last team to arrive. I'm sorry to tell you, you have been eliminated from the race. Yeah, we were afraid of that. Number four. You just made the list. Number three. If another team beats us, Victoria, I'm gonna lose it. Then lose it, okay, John? I'm gonna lose it on you because you can't get it right on the ground. How did you stop and pick up my bag? Because How could you do it? Go missing. How could you do that? John, stop it! Number two. I've only flown once in the last eight years because I'm so afraid of flying. This team was worse than Jonathan and Victoria, in my own opinion. 
detour. Come on. Paddle or swim? Let's have a swim. Right? Okay, let's do the swim. I just. What do you want, Victoria? Let's swim, I said. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have any handicapped children we could push into traffic to block traffic to help us get ahead. You know what they say. Preston, please.